Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with the one and only Beth Traverso. How you doing, Beth? Thanks, Mike. Doing great. Glad to be here again. Awesome. I uh, I look forward to just uh, listening. You uh, you went to the Bigger Pockets event last week, which was a three day affair in Southern California, I believe. Uh, I saw lots of uh, Instagram posts from across right. the board. Yeah. I thought I would sit back. You know, you're very experienced in the real estate game. You've been doing this a little while. Uh, buying, selling, and seller financing. So I, I just love to hear uh, what did you take away? What were the big notes that you wrote down over the three day event? Yeah. So there were some wonderful keynotes and, uh, and sessions, but I have to say, really, the best thing I got out of it was the networking that happened outside the sessions. Uh, the sessions were really great. Um, I have to say, there's a whole group of people that I only seem to see at that event. So there's friends that I met there last year it was in New Orleans. And so I wanted to go back and see, reconnect with people this year. And a lot of them were still there, you know, the regulars coming back. It was about twice the size this year, it seemed like. So it was a lot more people, Wow. which made it some people I was like, oh, yeah, I know they're out there somewhere. But <laughs> but I did. I met a lot of new people, too. So um, the networking, the in person networking is super valuable. And it's something that I'm making time for. Uh, this year and next year going forward, I just really want to work on uh, making new connections and strengthening the connections that I have and meeting people who are in this right headspace. So one of the takeaways I have is that people that are there, investors as a group, um, are very um, positive overall. Their mindset is more about problem solving rather than, oh, there's a problem. Guess we can't, guess we should just throw away our whole investing business, you know, it's more about, Hey, these curveballs are coming and they almost enjoy like figuring out how to solve the problem and get beyond it. So I like being around people who are action takers and who are positive. It's very much an abundance mindset. I have found that the people there are really open to sharing and friendly and not too much ego, you know, as I've, I, you know, you might think the opposite, but it was, Everyone was very approachable and friendly um, and really um, um, great to get to know. So I would say that was my biggest takeaway was just the in-person networking, the um, being around people who are of the right mindset, because you don't want to get stuck going down the wrong path of fear and scarcity. There's things to be afraid of, and there's things that could make things more difficult. But um, there's also always ways to thrive in any environment. And I feel like that was a group of people that are looking for ways to thrive. Yeah. And I think they will. So yeah, I don't want to be around people like that. I think that's critical. What, you, I have this these ORAT rules, right? Seven rules. Rule number seven is often ignored in the good times because everybody's making money. Everybody's having fun. Everybody's winning. Rule number seven is there on purpose for what we're about to go through, right? The housing market is slowing down. Transactions could go sub 4 million nationally. Prices may go down. They may go flat, whatever. There will be busted burrs. There'll be busted flips. There, you know, stuff's going to happen. Uh, the key is to get around like-minded people that are trying, right? Creativity. I think, I think the next two years uh, is going to be about being creative. And, yes. you know, you, you did a seller financing deal. That's all you've done this year. That's probably all you'll do next year. That's all I'm going to do. I'm, Unless there's just some screaming deal on the MLS that comes my yeah. way, I will only be doing seller finance deals or creative finance deals going forward. And um, I think that's just, you got to be around people that are doing it. People, there's one thing to watch crash videos when the market's going up because you can tell yourself, I'm watching the other side. Yeah. That's fair. But in an environment where all headlines are scary, where you have Jamie Dimon talking about 20%, you've got Meet Kevin saying a depression is whatever the heck people are doing. At some point, you don't need more negativity. You need to see that opportunity lives behind fear and great opportunity lives behind great fear. People, you're staring at a tree. The tree is called fear. Back up, look around. So I'm excited by what's coming because I've been here a yeah. couple of different times. So mm -hmm. I know in my core how to do it. But a lot of people, this is their first time. And it's uh, a lot of people are going to be frozen. Yes, I agree. And um, I edit my what gets into my personal head space. I protect it really fiercely. And I've I've blocked some of these um, YouTube channels that are nothing but negativity because I feel like that doesn't contribute to my life. Is it making my life better? No, 
I know they're there and I know they have their opinion and fine. If somebody wants to believe that that's up to them, but I want to be around the people that are, um, uh, finding ways to make it work. Not the people who are going to say all the reasons why things aren't going to work. If you don't want to invest in real estate, fine. I, I don't care if you do or don't, honestly, I'm here for the people that do, do want to make it work and I'm, I'm going to make it work. So, and you're going to make it work. So, that last statement, I'm going to make it work. Mm -hmm. I hope I, that should be a t-shirt. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to make it work. And that's what the next yeah. two years are going to be about is there will people that have to sell and you will do creative financing or silent seconds or sub two or, uh, you know, assumptions on VA loans. Just talk, just communicate. Bad things happen to good people. Sometimes they got to get out. Sometimes they have equity. Sometimes they don't. Let's yeah. see what we can help people. And again, I'll, I will knock on wood, buy more properties in the next two years than I bought in the last two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, that will be okay with me. Exactly. So, and one thing I want to, I, this might even be a topic for another video, another day, but one thing that's really been strong on my mind lately is um, if you feel like next year, like you as a person out there watching, if you feel like next year is going to be a horrible year and you decided that now, what are your chances of next year being a great year? I say pretty much none. none so zero. you know what? Yeah. I'm deciding that I'm going to have a great year next year. True. Will I, will I take a beating maybe on something? Sure. You know, but I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to come out on top and I'm going to have a wonderful year. I'm going to spend time with my family. I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to, I'm not going to waste a whole year because of what's going on in the real estate market, even though I'm exactly deep, I'm knee deep. I want my neck in the real estate market, but I'm going to make, I'm going to find a way to make it work and I'm going to have a great year. And I hope all the rest of the people out there do too. I, I hope, I hope more people have that mindset, right? There's no question, and you've heard me say, and it probably doesn't feel good to hear it, that real estate transactions across the country could be down 50% from the peak. As a commission-based salesperson, as somebody who has overhead of a team, that kind of makes you feel uncomfortable. But Beth is more than that. She has a family. She has experiences. She's an investor. You're going to have a great year. Yeah, this side of the business may be down a little bit, but all these other areas will blossom. It's kind of like if you lose one cent, you know, the other ones take over. Yeah, that's I think a, that's a great way. To, I think that's a yeah. great way to look at it. Yeah. So um, back to the bigger pockets, though. I mean, like the people there, there was none of this. I didn't feel fear anywhere in that room. Now, there, once something can be said for foolish ex over exuberance. And I, there might be some people that are doing that, you know, Yeah. but that's fine. You know, they're whatever, you know, but most people there were experienced people who've been doing it for a long time. If you're going to lay down the money and go to the conference, like you're probably doing stuff in that world. Probably. And yeah. so a lot of them been doing it for a long time. So um, it is a bit like drinking from a fire hose. And you know, what I can say is you just take what you want and leave the rest. Like if you're not in, into the whole, whatever strategy, it's not for you. Fine. You know, just there's others. There's, there was, there's a lot of short-term rental stuff. There was, you know, um, you know, wholesaling there was um there's a whole lot of syndicators there you know tons of syndicators not my thing but that's cool if they want to do their thing great you know you yeah, just take exactly. what you want there was a lot of there's private lending people there which i thought was kind of interesting oh private lenders you know that's something i should learn more about were there people talking about burr was burr there a bunch? not much burr a little bit of burr but not much people aren't really talking about burr too much right now burr and flipping goodness risky, you know yeah, yeah. Huh. So I'm happy about that. I'm a little happy about that. Thank you. I know. <laughs> I didn't I didn't see anything crazy going on there, honestly. But people were just awesome. mindful of what, you know, but there, there's all it's all about the pivot and the adjustment mm -hmm. and just keeping things positive. So that. that's awesome. It was a, it was a growth that that was again, that's just my 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 takeaway was, you know, that you don't I, have to do it all. And it does, it always makes me question when I go down there, like, should I scale like some of these people that own thousands of doors or like 1% of thousands of doors? And, you know, <laughs> it's like, I don't know if I want to own 1% of thousand doors. I'll just no, have thanks. my, my portfolio Little. that I have, you know? And yeah. so that's one of the things I always think when I go there, like, am I big enough, you know, because get people are just doing huge things. And um, so, you know, I still toss it around. It's always good to see people doing different things and seeing it does sort of stretch yeah. my own thoughts about my own strategy. So I am so comfortable sitting on my ledge. I don't need to climb any higher. I, I'm okay. Yeah. 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 About being quality, happy, happy life choices. Yeah. The bigger is not always better. Bigger is yeah, not, always better. not always better. And I've been seeing more of, I've been listening and hearing that more lately. And again, my coach, I was talking about before it. I work with, you know, we're working on goals for next year and it's more about like, Hey, he knows what makes me happy. And so he's like, let's just get you more of that. 
So <laughs> just that make sure, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll take more of that stuff, you know, like trips with the family and doing the things that more time off, you know, um, while still doing a killer business, you know, keeping the business going and, and doing great. I mean, I expect to do hit my numbers and more next year, honestly. So this year has been, um, the best I've had. So even though the first half was very different than the second half. So, um, so at any rate, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll definitely, be, I'll be going back to BB Con next year. It's going to be in Florida, uh, Orlando. Very cool. Second week of October or something like that. They announced that there. So I'll go. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I'll go. If they ask me to speak, I, I don't know if you saw it, but I, I created my own bigger pockets. I saw that and I watched it and I thought it was great. If you were doing the breakout session, you know, I'd be there. So, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> so BP, I'm here if you want to invite me, but remember, I'm just going to tell it how it is. So you probably won't invite me, but that's okay. Uh, Beth, where can people find you? Uh, people can find me at Beth Traverso group.com or just Google me. Awesome. Thank you so much. And again, Thanks. this is why you've got to, you've got to ask Beth some questions, put the questions below for the uh, November 12th event in Fresno. Yeah, thank you so much. The questions in the event. Yeah. Yeehaw. It's a month right. away. It's one month and a day away. Yeah. It's going to go fast. Thanks.